today we're sitting down here at Factory Espresso and we're going to have a chat to Ruby's husband. Hang on, we've got to Nick. Cut that. Espresso. Don't say espresso. Espresso. You said espresso. Espresso. Hi, I'm Richard Stubbs. You know what I like? Sophistication. You know what says sophistication to me? Factory Espresso. My brother lives in Orange. Is that what you were alluding to? Before? I was, yes. Yes. Have you been to his cafe? Yeah. He Is gets... it any good? Oh, it's lovely. Factory Espresso, located at 135 Kite Street Orange, is a buzzing cafe that offers locally roasted coffee and locally sourced produce. We source our free-range eggs and bacon from local orange farmers who have been doing it for years. I'm, I'm John Mine and I'm a free-range egg producer. I supply free-range eggs to Factory Espresso. Okay, um, my name's Fred D'Souza. I'm, uh, my wife and myself own Trunky Bacon and Pork, and we have been going for the last uh, 20 years. The factory also sourced their meats, fruits and veg from local suppliers, m and Butcher and Country Fruit Distributors. I'm Michael Borg, and uh, I'm a meat provador in Orange, and we run a business selling meat to uh, local people and out of town, and coffee shops and restaurants. G'day, I'm Clint Evans. We're at Country Fruit Distributors Orange. We're a wholesale fruit and vegetable supplier that services all the schools, restaurants, caterers in Orange and the Central West. To complement a well-portioned breakfast, we have locally supplied milk and locally roasted Bill's Beans coffee. Well, my name's Ed McLean and I'm with Milk Express. I'm a partner in the business. We deliver milk, dairy, juice, cheese, all that kind of stuff all around Orange. We've seen all of our supplies. Now let's see how the engine room at factory put it all together. Come with me. Good afternoon. Hang on, that felt a bit staged, didn't it? So here you have it, ladies and gents. It's the full package. It's a beautiful latte from Bill's Beans. It's the poached eggs from Johnny, the bacon from Fred, the uh, mushrooms and the avo from Clint. It's the full package. Oh, and let's not forget the milk from Ed. Orange is a great place to live. It's got a bit of something for everybody. It's a good spot for kids to grow up. I'm born and bred here. I love it here. My family like it here. Uh, I think the seasons to start with, they have four seasons in a day sometimes. I'm born and bred in Orange. Been here for 42 years now. And um, we've got everything here, as far as I can tell, all the schooling and hospitals and all that. So. Orange doesn't lack in anything. It's a, it's a whole food basket of, of uh, uh, you know, wines and, and good food and um, good wholesome food, yeah. We often joke that Orange is the North Shore of the Central West. <laughs> Real estate wise, probably not, but, uh, but uh, you know, I, I guess if you're gonna live anywhere in the West, it's, the Orange would be the place to be. We've got a, a lot of eateries, uh, a lot of nice places to stay, bed and breakfast, a lot of different entities in town. I don't really know what the North Shore is or what it's like. Um, so yeah, Orange is good. One thing is certain that the owners of Factory have a strong relationship with local suppliers and the community. Uh, we work in with um, Factory Espresso mainly because they sell good quality products. Their, their service is good and that's exactly what we do. We like to you know, cooperate with a lot of businesses that operate on our sort of style of business. Um, another great local business and um, yeah, we've come to know you and Ruby a, a little bit and a couple of your comedy nights we've been to which have been really great so yeah another great orange business. Oh like well Factory Espresso they support us just as much as we support them. Uh, Nick and Ruby are now locals and um, they're good for the community they do have a good product and um, they're a good place to go for the banter and the coffee. They support government initiatives like cover for the driver to prevent driver fatigue put on fortnightly comedy nights at the cafe with talented comedians. These guys are getting all excited about food week. Last time I was here was wine week. I know it's the same thing. Central Western Daily, thank you. To try and get a pulse of the town? See what, what's been going on locally in the news? Not much. And offer catering services. So are they as awesome as they think they are? Well, Ruby's pretty good. The other bloke, on <laughs> oh, that's not going to go on. Uh, no, no, no. Look, you know, they're they're, uh, they're real goers. They they've um, taken this by the horns and and um, and embraced the challenge. I think Ruby is. 
<laughs> are Nick and Ruby really as awesome as they think they are? Ruby's pretty good. <laughs> Nick, I think, is running on the coattails of his brother a bit and thinks he's a comedian. My brother's Caffeine Orange is very good and you all should go. Yeah. Who well, says you can't advertise on the ABC? I don't give <laughs> <get> a <laughs> Oh. Hello. Hello. This has been another Faceplant production. Factory Espresso, 135 Clark Street, Street, Orange. So, all right, here I am with Frank D'Souza of Trunky... Frank... Fred. <laughs>